Today's quick tip is this stuff, this funny tacky plasticky mat that you can get to put on your bike, keeps luggage on and as you can see it's quite tacky because this is a 14mm spanner hanging on the back of a tracer fuel tank. Another use for this stuff is to line your tool drawers with. It keeps things in place as you open and close the drawers looking for stuff. For bikers the usual place to go would be Oxford. They make loads of accessories and bits and pieces. Their matting is 900mm by 600mm and comes in at 12 99 Another recommended use from Oxford for this stuff is to plonk on your back seat to keep a pillion in place. Personally, if I've got an attractive pillion, I normally put a little bit of furniture polish on the back seat so I slide about more and have to hang on more tightly. And their blanket is 900mm by 600mm and comes in at 12 99 But having a look at this, you get 0.54 square metres of the matting and that works out at about £24 and a few pence per square metre. But there are other options out there. Lots of tool companies will supply this stuff. The one from Screwfix is 7 99 but it's not as wide. It's only 450mm wide, so it's giving away about 6 inches on the width. But it's a lot longer at over 1200mm. You might think that giving away 6 inches in width is going to cause you problems, but my toolboxes are 200mm by 450mm on the drawers, so I could easily use the 450mm width and uh, completely fill up the hole that I need to. So that you get about 0.57 square metres for 7 99 which comes in at just over 14 quid per square metre. If you've got a lot of drawers or lots of bikes or a pillion with a big backside, you can always look at the Sealy one which gives you getting on for 3 metres of sticky blanket and that's about 1.28 square metres. If you pay the full list price from Sealy of uh, £31.14 that works out at £24.30 odd per square metre. But if you have a look online, type in something like Sealy Anti-Slip and you get lots of shopping options and these can actually come down to just over 8 quid per square metre. I don't know if that includes VAT or not, even if it excludes VAT, it's still certainly a lot cheaper in per square metre terms than the uh, other items on here. So the moral of the story, just because it's for a motorbike, you don't have to get it from a motorbike shop or a motorbike supplier. Have a look round, see if it's a common thing, and if it is, you might be able to find it somewhere else cheaper. Tatty bye for now.